Welcome back. Let's walk through getting Xdebug set up on a fresh install of macOS. So what I have here is a fresh install of macOS Catalina. By default, it comes with PHP version 7.3 without Xdebug installed. So what we're going to do is install PHP 7.4 using Homebrew and get Xdebug installed that way. Since I've previously installed Homebrew on this machine, I can run brew install PHP at 7.4 and it will start the installation process for this version of PHP. So it looks like Bruce completed the process of installing PHP 7.4, but let's check to see which version of PHP we're running. And it still says 7.3. Now why is that? Well, here's one command that we can run to ask Brew what's going on. And here it tells us that Homebrew's sbin was not found in our path, and it gives us a command we can run to add it to our zshrc file. So I'm going to run that command and I'm going to resource that file. Now if I do php-v, we're running the correct version of PHP 7.4. Now one fantastic feature of installing PHP through Homebrew is that by default you get the pair framework. So if I were to run pair version, you can see that pair is installed on my system. Previously, you'd have to run through a few commands to get pair installed on your system, and it could get kind of hairy. But using brew to install PHP, it comes in by default. And that's great for us because we need pair to run a peckle command to install xdebug. So let's go ahead and run that command. peckle install xdebug. And it looks like the process completed successfully. If we run php-v, we can see that xdebug is installed. Now just because we have xdebug installed doesn't mean we get step debugging right out of the box. So in my next video, I'll cover configuring xdebug to actually do some step debugging and really harness the full power of what xdebug can offer. Please don't forget to support my channel by liking this video and subscribing so that you can be notified when I come out with new video content. And as always, if you ever need any help, please hit me up on Twitter at Jose Can Help. I'll see you there.